welcome back to Snap Daylight Nature. In this episode of Snap De La Nature, we're going to be talking about geology and all the various ways that it has to do with nature. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the natural land formations right here at the Lake of the Ozarks. We're going to learn about a few of these natural phenomenons, but we're also going to learn about how humans have impacted this area as well. All right, so we're going to start at the southern part of the lake at the Haha ha Tonka Spring and Natural Bridge. This area is a prime example of karst topography, meaning that it is full of porous rocks such as dolomite that contain deep fissures and characterized by springs, sinkholes, losing streams, and caves. According to geologic charts, in the last 550 million years, this rock has had a cave etched into it by groundwater from the surrounding areas. Then, after a while, most of the roof of the cave collapsed, creating a sinkhole and the natural bridge that we are looking at today. We stand on rocks. And those rocks stand on more rocks. And those rocks stand on even more rocks. Sedimentary rocks are special for they tell us so much about what came before us, and what came before what came before us, and what came before what came before what came before us, and so on. Well, to a certain point. All these layers that can be found basically anywhere on Earth represent the eons, eras, periods, epochs, and ages past. Sedimentary rocks are made up of sediments, obviously. And those sediments can be classified as boulders, cobble, pebbles, sand, silt, and clay. And what happens is these sediments become compacted more and more over long periods of time and become these rock layers that we see here today. The Ha Ha Tonka Spring discharges about 48 million gallons of water every freaking day. This spring is formed from the rainwater over a large area of land that collects underground and creates underground streams deep below the earth. These underground spring streams can make caves that often take tens to hundreds of thousands of years to form. These caves are formed from water slowly eating away at permeable rock like dolostone or limestone. The Ha Ha Tonka spring water maintains a temperature of around 50 degrees Fahrenheit all year round. Other springs called hot springs maintain a warmer temperature all year round, providing natural jacuzzis for your enjoyment. This right here is Bagnell Dam, and it kind of helps keep Lake Ozark put together. Yes, that's right. Lake of the Ozark is artificially inseminated. I, I mean, created. The construction of the Bagnell Dam on the Osage River is what formed the spectacular dragon-esque body of water. The Bagnell Dam finished construction in 1931, but was first conceived in 1917 by a Kansas City bloke named Ralph Street. After construction, the river started to fill at an average rate of one and a half feet per day, and it took 78 days for the water to reach the spillway. Man-made lakes are technically referred to as reservoirs and, according to the National Lake Assessment done by the EPA in 2012, there are about 53,119 reservoirs in the United States alone. Although, about 40% of them are smaller than 10 acres. Reservoirs are typically created for drinking water supply, agricultural irrigation, industrial cooling for a water supply, flood control, fisheries, recreation, or navigation. The downside of man-made lakes is that they're more likely to have more zooplankton, total phosphorus, lake shore disturbances, and chlorophyll A risk than natural lakes, and can also kill off animal populations who rely on the rivers that some dams are built on. This was a fun one to make. It sure was. Thank you guys for watching this. I truly am so proud of this episode. I can't wait to make more videos, more nature videos. I'm super passionate about learning about all these subjects. I really feel like it's going to be super helpful for me. 
helpful to me, and uh, I'm hoping it's helpful for you guys too. It's really fun. I'm learning so much about film, learning so much about nature, doing this and just following whatever feels right, and this episode felt right. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. And um, I'm going to be making more videos if you like this, you know. And if you want to watch like more vlog style or more weird style videos, I have another personal channel called Andrew Hasley. That's just me. Just type that in there. But yeah, like it up, share it, and love you. Mm. Say it back. Say it back.